I'm Ted Norby, Director of Instruction for the National University Golf Academy. Today I want to talk a little bit about release. A lot's been said about release, a lot's been posted, a lot of questions are always thrown out at, uh, on, on different video sites about what is a good release, what's the proper release. And I think the issue comes in there are different types of releases. And whether you're a beginner, intermediate, a professional, the different there are different releases for different shots. There are different learning curves on what I'm trying to accomplish when I'm releasing the club, whether I'm a beginner, intermediate, professional. Uh, even to the extent where the professionals, most good players to that level, aren't trying to release the club at all through impact. They're trying to hold the club. They don't want it to release. Um, so what I want to talk about are kind of the three stages of release and why we have to go through these three stages to understand what a true release and how to release the club in golf. So the first step for a beginner that needs to learn what a release is, is actually the release coming back up. Uh, unfortunately, as we begin this game, we think of this as an up and down motion. So most beginning players think that they need to lift the club on the backswing, and then somewhere down here they again need to lift the club back up the other way. And that's the chicken wing and the wrists and hands don't work correctly. So the first thing that those players, the beginning players, need to learn is a hinging up, which handle stays down and the club head comes up, and then a mirror image on the other side where the handle is low and the club head comes back up. So it's more of a, a hinge, release, rehinge is what they're doing. So the release is more of a, from the club above the hands, down below the hands, and then the club back up through the hands. So that's the first release is feeling this, this hinge, rehinge with the handle staying low. So as a beginner, the best thing to work on is just some little half shots where I get this to about 90 degrees, and then over on this other side, 90 degrees. Now to be able to do this, I need a good grip, and we've talked about grip in the past. I need leverage on top. I need to be able to hinge and set the hands correctly. So that's something that we need to teach to be able to release the club. But if I get this club into a hinge position and a rehinge, that's the first release that we're trying to create with people. So the body moves through, and there's a rehinge re when we're done. 